hello my people now welcome back again to my channel now maybe the worry girl if you don't know me so if not today you they just come my channel god will bless you say you see this channel i beg make you no comment just help me like this video subscribe may you still comment another time again may you still come back and if you get any topic when you they like where where they watch you feel still drop and for the comment section i go make her because this one i waiting people ask now they do so so one of our brother again I want other of her sister. She asked me whether this Oluna when they put so whether na the the past one when died the immediate Oluna I picking I been a na a cousin I been a uncle which of them. So for this later now when our king ad, address the issue I go put her here on Agosti Siam. So this one are the way Olute respond concerning the issue before the coronation so i go to put this video i go to read them so that when i go here waiting talk this one are from my mouth this one not be from me not be me do this one so i go read that word to word waiting talk i beg mona listen well so that one are the answer kind question when i go already get the answers when i they read when i they listen to this thing go make you no know, ask that question again because that question they go don't answer them for here so make her start to read them make on hear them how Olu of Worry responded to kingship tozo ahead of coronation. Okay. The new king praised some Ishakiri sons and daughters who made the coronation possible despite efforts to thwart it. The Olu of Worry Atuwashe three on Saturday addressed the issues of kingship and missing crown that unfolded ahead of the of his inauguration. In his first speech after the coronation, Shola Emiko, the new king, noted that there were concerted efforts to thwart his coronation. Since the Idanike, the traditional isolation period of 90 days for the king designate was performed last May. He singled out eight ships for special recognition. We must express our profound gratitude to the proud Ishekiri sons and daughters who stood up to be counted when it appeared that the foundation of our collective patrimony was under threat, he said. The chiefs included John C. Amasherulege, Gabriel Awala, who crowned the king, Bram Mene, Roland Orishe Jaffo, Charles Ikomi, Edwin Oli, Robinson Ario, and Eugene Yugne Ikomi. Okay. After the twentieth Olu of Worry, Ogiame Ikenwoli passed away last December. There was a tussle within the royal family for his replacement. When one group supported the emergence of Shola Emiko, who is the eldest son of the nineteenth Olu Atuashe II, the other led by Ayiri Emami, the traditional prime minister of the king, thought otherwise. Mr. Emami, who has been suspended from his position, was conspicuously absent at Saturday's coronation. Why Mr. Emami has filed a suit challenging the succession plan to the throne? Oyowoli Emiko, the eldest son of the 20th Olu, instituted a legal action challenging the emergence of Shola Emiko as the new king. On August 6, Bikoro Okolosi, a judge of the Delta State High Court, began hearing on a case challenging the emergence of Shola Emiko as the new Olu. The judge, however, adjourned the matter in August 12th for mention. Interestingly, just before this precious moment in time which has brought us to where we are today, that age-long tendency that has always sought to distort and abort our greatness wanted to rear its ugly head in an attempt to truncate our glory and restoration to our origin. God-given identity, the king began in his inaugural speech. 
we have out before you all today that we were not and we are never offended at any point in time during the process that culminated to this day that has seen me ascend the throne of my fathers this is in every ramification a very special day one that has been predestined and divinely ordained by the most high god he and he alone could have determined that three months after our idanike began in may our coronation will take place today the only saturday in this year 2021 that occurs on the 21st of the month there is no part of this that has been my own doing it was and remains god's divine project and as a result the mischief that some had intended god has used it for good about the missy crown a few days before the coronation the king's crown disappeared the police declared two princes in the kingdom wanted in connection with the incident according to the police oyowoli emiko 30 and omashuli emiko 27 broke into the secret apartment of the hrom olu of worry and stole the royal crown last month social media was awash with photos of oyowoli emiko Embaki on Idanike <laughs> after his coronation. Atu Washa three said the Missy Crown was replaced with a more befitting one. Our Yoruba brothers have an expression when the palace of the king burns down, it is because a more beautiful one wants to be erected in its place, he said. The taboo that was done by the desecration of our most prized crown jewels made a way for a more beautiful one, fashioned by our own royal person, while staying true to the inspiration of the one that came back in the 17th century. Before then, however, Olu Ginua I brought a coral beaded crown from the source in Benin and that crown adored the head of the first six Olus. Olu Atuwashe I brought a pair of silver crowns that would adore the head of the next 14 Olus. By the special grace of God, we have the privilege to introduce a new pair of gold and silver crowns to the already rich and beautiful history of attire of the Olu of Wari, and as the progression of our crown is symbolic for all to see, from Kora to silver and now to gold, so shall there be a spiritual, physical, social, economic manifestation of the progress of our kingdom and our people concerning reversing a cause. The new king also took the opportunity of his first speech to reverse a cause placed on the federal government by Olu Erejuwa II, who was deposed by the NCNC-led regional government in 1964. He was, however, reinstated two years later. Why not seeking to reopen old wounds? It is pertinent to recall the fact that following the grave injustice meted out to Olu Erejuwa II, he visited His Royal Majesty Oba Akenzwa II of Benin and recounted his ordeal at Uwashe said. In a reaction, a curse was placed on the land by both of them. It is not recorded that Olu Erejuwa II reversed the curse over the land. Neither it is recorded that Oba Akezwa II did the same. 
Most probably, the issue was never revisited. As a firm believer in the intricate interconnectedness between the spiritual and the man manifestation in the physical, it is our firm belief that the matter needs to be addressed. As the spiritual, cultural, political, and traditional ruler of this land, I, Ogiame Atuwashe III, the 21st Olu of worry, I hereby reverse the curse placed on the land. In its place, I release forgiveness and healing to the federal government of Nigeria, whose mind was used to propagate that offense, and I decree unprecedented and uncommon peace, progress, prosperity, development upon this land. I bring down the government of heaven unto this land, and I direct it to flow as a force that can neither be sabotaged, slowed, nor stopped. It goes out as a strong ripple effect emanating from this kingdom to the rest of the Niger Delta, to the rest of the Nigerian nation, and even the Africa continent. Africa has always been shaped as a gun, with Nigeria as its trigger. Today, that gun has been fired, and full restoration comes out of the barren. This land begins to yield its riches to us. All that has been hidden, hitherto, comes to the surface, and the world shall marvel at how we have defied projected economic trends. And this time around, we shall be the ones to chart the course of our own destiny thank you so much guys for watching to the end or for reading or for listening to the end i go see you now again for another video so you when you they ask all this question i don't bring a combo make you go comment make you see what you they ask me whether the king now the direct descendant of the uh the uh, immediate olu Okay, from this, uh, uh, what I read now, from this article, one will talk now. It me say, not be a picking, gong, gong, gong. Mm -mm, not be in. Na he uncle, na he be. So make you try listen what I read so that at least you'll see answer to what you ask me. Because not be everything I feel just they write. Uh -huh. I just tell you, so I go reply you. So now the reply be this. God go bless all of you now when they subscribe to my channel. I beg not forget to invite your friends. So share this link with them so that they go still come watch. If you get any video when you want to make, I make. I beg. Drop out for the comment section. Not worry. I they see everything. I go make any video for now. Okay? Bye.